In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about chi-square, test for independence, a two-way test, and how to use Excel. The final product looks something like this. This video is also a part of a playlist, and I'd encourage you to watch the whole playlist. I'll step you through how I did all the calculations, row by row. So you can use Excel to calculate chi-square. I'm going to use a table, and a two-way means I have at least two rows. In this table, I have academic performance high and low. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two separate tables instead. This will make your calculation much easier. So I have a table for high academic performance and self-esteem, and another table for low academic performance and self-esteem. I will, I'm just going to put in the expected values. So I end up with two tables like this. Again, high academic performance, low academic performance. It's not necessary to understand how to use Excel, but in a previous video, I talk about how I derive the expected values. Now I'm going to flip over to Microsoft Excel. You'll see I have two tables the, that we talked about before just now, the high and low academic performance. I'm going to type in my observed, which is this top row. And then I'm going to type in also my expected. And so my first value is 21. Next value is 31, then 8. Now I'll type in my observed values for low academic performance, which is 12, 43, and 35. Now I'm going to type in my expected values for high academic performance. My first value is 12, 30 and 18, 18, 45, and finally 27. Again, this video is part of a, a playlist, and in that playlist I talk about how I derived these values. So I hit the equal sign on the keyboard, and I select my observed, which is 21, minus, and I click on 12, and hit enter, that gives me 9. I move the mouse till I see a little plus sign. Then I left click and drag it all the way to the right. And now I have that same formula in all the cells. And now I hit the equal sign again. I click on that cell there and hit the equal sign. And I click the 9 and put a hat which is above the 6 and 2 which means square. 9 squared is 81, obviously. Now I drag this cell all the way to the right as well. 10 squared is 100. Negative 2 squared is 4. So I copies the same formula across. Now I click on the cell B8 and type in an equal sign. Then I click on the 81, which is B7 in this case the divide sign. Now I have B7 divided by B4, which is the differences squared divided by the expected, which is 6.8. Now I drag this to the right. So I get the same formula in all those cells, and there I go. Now I click on cell B10, type in equal time, and type the word sum open parentheses, click on that 6.8, which is my first value I want to add up, and drag to the right to 2.4 and close parentheses, and that gives me my chi-square, which is 16.8. Again, in a subsequent video on this playlist, I talk about how to determine whether we reject or accept this hypothesis or this chi-square result. 
and I'll provide a link right here for you for that video.